My name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this episode of Understanding Adobe Photoshop. Now, truth be told, the Photoshop interface can be a bit intimidating. That's because there's a lot of panels and drop down menus, and you can get really a lot to keep in touch. But as you're working, the cool thing is, is that you can quickly organize the interface to the task at hand. Now, up in the right hand corner, you'll see some workspaces that you could switch between. Essentials is the default workspace that keeps the most common items up, like the adjustments panel and the layers panel and your color controls. But if you're doing a lot of design, you can switch and you see that we now have access to type and color. On the other hand, painting will bring up all sorts of brush presets and keeps the color up there. And if you click, you see there are more for specific tasks. For example, photography will bring up histograms and adjustment panels and you get the general idea. Now, if you are working with a particular workspace and you make a change, it's not permanent. So for example, maybe I decide I want to also add channels and pull that out as a separate tab and then dock it over here on the side. There it is. Well, that lets me keep it visible. So if I switch to another workspace and then switch back, you'll see that it has stuck. However, the actual default called photography is still preserved. So you can go ahead and choose to reset photography back to its default saved workspace. So as you change workspaces and update them while working, they are sticky and those changes will stick around until you reset the workspace back to its default value. One workspace I like to point out is the new in CS5 workspace. When you do that, you actually get color coding in your menu. And in this case, everything that is blue has been either added as a new feature or has been updated and it makes it easier to find what has been changed with Photoshop. This is a great way to find and discover new features that maybe you didn't know. After all, you or somebody else paid to upgrade that software, so you might as well get the most out of the new features. With workspaces, you can quickly change tasks, and if you need to, drag up here to make more room to see them. If you come up with your own workspace and arrangement of panels as you like them, you could choose Window, Workspace, New Workspace. And this will allow you to create a workspace that stores your own panel configurations as you see fit. Now, the defaults are a great place to start, but as you work more and more, be sure to create your own workspaces. This will cut down on the wear and tear of your body of constantly going up to the Windows menu and choosing different options. Instead, storing them as a workspace will speed up your switching between tasks. Yeah.